Kenya 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 Marekani Mambo vipi karibuni tena katika makala mengine ya Mkenya Marekani ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for the support you giving us kwa kugonga subscribe na kale ka kengele bana eh kana kuanga somewhere somewhere hapa chini kagonge Yeah, leo sisi kama mnapendelea hii koti yangu but wacha tusiongelelee koti. Comment hapo chini kama unailike. <laughs> Today I have a guest na nataka tumkaribishe kwa makofi. Wapi makofi na madram rolls? After the break. Ingia alabama mwaka gani? Nilingia na alabama kitambo. Yeah. Uh, watu wengi ya miningi nimekaa America 14 years. 14 years? Aha. Uh -huh. Wow. 14. When a legend. Mimi mwana wa sele wa kitambo. Wow, wow. Lakini America hata mtu kama amekaa miaka 14 na mwingine akuje like the other day ukishapata chenye unafaa kupata watu wanakuangaiko la kuna cha ulikuja kitambo. Si ndio America uzuri wake inatoshanisha watu kwa sababu gani? Kuna iko opportunities. Ukichukua ugrabu la nayo unafikia wengine. Wow, wow, wow. So uh ni kuna joya ilikuwa challenge maybe kukuja hizo miaka watu kuwa nakuja sana Amerika hata visa kupata ilikuwa bala how did you manage it was so hard yeah. kwa sababu hata kupata mtu kwa kukuhost yeah. ilikuwa shida anti yako anaenda kuulizia shoshu wa neighbor na mwingine na huko <laughs> kama wata tuchukulia msichana wetu yeah. it was really hard my yeah. journey was even harder yeah. because i was even picked by somebody who didn't know me wow. i was supposed to come to Seattle by the way And then I I landed in Alabama and I never came here until until I think 2017 from 2006 to 2017 you nilikuja know, Seattle wow. I was supposed to come directly yeah. here So so umetoka Kenya when you fresh eh, job gani ndo ulilandia ya kwanza hapa Wow you know in Kenya mm -hmm. I was I was doing well mm -hmm. by the, by the, those standards yeah. So nikikuja huku eh ni di maisha ni pigwa na butwa Wow Unajua siku hizo si kama size unaona online kila kitu unaambiwa yeah. we had this idea of how America is mm -hmm. nilifanya kazi ya kuosha manyumba nilikuja December yeah. I was lucky to kupata kazi through a friend yeah. uh, the same year yeah. nyumba za wazungu wenye wamehama zimeremodeliwa kwenda kuziosha kutoto to stay in kufanya nini yani ile ile kazi Kenya ungeamini unaweza enda kuosha choo kufanya mm -hmm. nini kufagia mm -hmm. because i had a good business a bureau computer bureau yeah. printing yeah. na nini hizo miaka ulikuwa na computer bureau yeah i have always been an investor niliaza yeah. kazi nikiwa biashara nikiwa na miaka 20 wow mtazamaji nakumbuka miaka ya kwenda cyber kufanya kufanya email eh, email <laughs> na pengine yahoo yahoo ama america online <laughs> <laughs> wow na myspace <laughs> I don't even remember my login. Wow. My name on my wow, absolutely amazing. Mm. So so uh alafu culture shock ingine yenye ulipata ukikuja Marekani kwa ni gani sasa? And the culture shock was I thought people are friendly. Yeah. People are, were not I mean people are not friendly at all. Mm. And uh, I was left there to figure it out, mm. you know. And uh, ukienda una you have to catch up so fast. Uju umekuja kufanya kazi na hapa hakuna mama yako, mtu yeah. wenu you have to get up, tafuta raid yako kwenda kurudi, yeah. jua venye utamanuva hizo barabara. Yeah. There was no I tell people who are coming now, there was no smartphone, there was no maps. Unapata kikaratasi kinatoshana hivi, utoke hapa, upite ka street haka, so you would stop to every every so and then kuuliza, unajua hapa? On every gas station, unajua huko? And then you have to go to that work and come back. Wow. It was hard. So ulikuwa unatumia ile JC, ile JC map tulikuwa nasoma na kawaya. Hiyo ulikuwa unatumia hiyo time. If you did not know geography, topography, you know this attitude is up, this yeah. is lower. Utashinda ukisako na gari yako hapo na utafika kwenye unaenda. Wow. So so and then later how did you now grow uh, uh, into now being an American for the 14 years? I had one agenda. Yeah. I will come here, grab that money mm -hmm. and get out in three years. Of course that didn't happen. It didn't happen. <laughs> it never happens. Yeah. There's no money here unakuja unanyako unaenda. No. There's no money at the airport you're yeah. picking up. So me nilikuja for the first five years um I have I, I come from very humble, humble beginning. Mm -hmm. I guess many people from Kenya. Yeah. So nilikuja huku my first five years nilifanya kazi. Wacha nikwambie nilichapa kazi. Nilisahau kila kitu. Double triple. I lived in Alabama. I never even went to that beach kwa hapo Mobile Magaf shows. Wow. Five years. Kila mm -hmm. mtu akienda holiday 
tunafanya kazi na wewe si una tabas giving si jua si una tabas nachukua masaa kila mtu so it's work even three jobs Sasa ni kwa mgeni because hauwezi kulipa bill vinje ngine. Hebu mm-hmm. tell us now about that. Wacha nikwambie uh, gero. So many people tell you don't chase bills, sijui you know what your health. Mimi niambia mtu ukikuja huku chapa masaa. You have the motivation for the first few years umefika huku. Yeah. So mimi wenye nilifika huku nilifanya kazi doubles doubles kila pahali. I, after cleaning I was doubling cleaning in the morning before rich people's houses and gas station so with my colleagues going places I used to tell them can I pick you wakienda pahali venye wanasumbuana hapo ranya tamfanyia I used to pick up all the hours I worked Monday through Monday for five years I did not stop wow. I was determined kuomoka kuomoka mm-hmm. uliomoka ah vaina niliomoka you have to do if you put in the work you have the discipline you say you invest a hey. for the first time <laughs> i have a kenyan in my show amekubalia ameomoka most of the time nikiuliza mkenya kama amemoka nasema ah hapana nikuangangana tu hapa kusukuma sukuma no guy alafu gadia eh so so uh, so na naona uk, ukiwa kenya most of the time una, una chapa chapa biz biz but to be how you started about uh, what you do first of all tell us what you do You know um my name is being Anmoy I'm known for real estate yeah. from the world go I've been known for investment so I'm the CEO of Bama Diaspora Realty Limited it's yeah. a company selling land mm. in Kenya specifically Mbuka in Kenya <laughs> advertisement to be paid for it uh. so um I help Kenyans so yeah. like invest in Kenya you know how people came here they don't know they don't have connection on the ground yeah. and if you have tried to invest by yourself Gary You have either lost money through rock companies or through our beloved relatives who will Absolutely. buy for you air mm-hmm. or they'll buy for you a land worth 1 million and they'll tell you it's 2 million. So that is how I came in and changed the picture. Wow. Mm-hmm. So 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 uh, you you uh, buy like a big uh, land and then you sell to diaspora people yeah i buy i, I go do the i scout and sell i look for good land mm-hmm. a place where the advantage is i've lived here so yeah. i know the 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 the, the interests of the americans what mm-hmm. they would like yeah. and that the, i i give them living here how gives me the upper hand or the added advantage of knowing the capabilities of the diasporans and their needs so i look for a big chunk when i buy a big chunk of course i'll get it at a good price but getting to get there what, what i did i told you how i worked hard so i saved money and i bought small pieces of land that were cheaper i remember buying some of them for 250 mm. by the time i was starting my my business this land had appreciated to a lot of money that gives you a good head start when you invest early because When I send in your moka, see it nili amka nika 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 it work job ama nika. It is not overnight. It is not overnight. Yeah. It is it is com- and you start where you are. You see, I tell people with me what you have. Yeah, I started with the um, entry jobs. Ni tangu a jelo minimum income, minimum wage. Yeah. That is what helped me. But I had the discipline of Squeeze minimum wage it how much? My first job was 725. That is 725 shillings per hour, yeah. which was really low. Yeah. And uh, ju- during the, um, the, de- the what you call this Obama time there yeah, was the there recession. Was, yeah. We could only get like maybe even 30 hours a, a week, less, uh, uh, maybe sometimes 25. Yeah. And we had the discipline of saving because I cannot live a luxurious life and I expect to get to where I want to go. I have mm. to give up one. So vision is very important. A uh, vision and I said discipline. Mm-hmm. In another thing in investing you people invest anywhere just because you see a big company or maybe a small company you see these beautiful pictures yeah. you buy land that you're stuck with with no value yeah. know who you're buying from know what you're buying you you had earned money might be going to waste somewhere in Kenya when you go back you realize your land is is worth nothing after waiting five years mm. so 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 you, you do do you have like a liaison with uh, lawyers like uh, professionals mm-hmm. because We have a lot of cases where people have uh, bought maybe land mm-hmm. and then uh, maybe unaskia ime allocate you like three people so how do you make sure that your land is like legit na mtu hata utilize what you you know that's what people do they save money here mm-hmm. they say they will not buy when they are here like when you fanya kazi you save yeah. your 10 million 
unaenda Kenya. Your whole village knows you are there. Unaambia babako unatafuta shamba. Unatafutiwa ya neighbor ya nani ya ruru ya kitenyera unaenda kuonyeshwa. So when you are 10 million, the chances are very high that you can get conned with that kind of idea of going to Kenya ukatafute shamba. Yeah. So when you buy through a company it's safer. I think mm. most companies want to maintain their good name, yeah. you know? But there are a few bad bad beans in the, in the mix, but what I do is due diligence. Mm. Yeah. 5%. So 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 uh okay. So uh, what I do is due diligence, we involve lawyers, we involve people on the ground, the chief, the community, everybody. We want, we make sure that this land is legit. We subdivide, then we also use a lawyer to in the in the processing of the titles. We hand deliver the titles and we and uh, we have had a successful rate of three over 300 people given their titles. Oh wow, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. That's um, that's very. So so where are your lands based like Nairobi, which areas? My lands right now are based in Nanyuki just because I know the Aspirants love a nice serene quiet yeah, area. Yeah, absolutely. There is security because they the British army, the KDF, the Air Force mm -hmm. and there is access of many things that the Aspirants like. Yeah, yeah. So 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 you are uh, when I buy your land, sita skia after you make a car, you skia really, really, really in a pita kwa bedroom yako. So government destroys your bedroom, and then where wuna achiwe ingine ujibomole. <laughs> no, that doesn't happen because right th those who happens happen before, especially in the commercial areas. Yeah. Right now, this land we are selling that cannot happen okay. because they involve the physical planners, the the Ministry of Lands there in Lakeipia is doing a good job. They make sure that your submission has to be approved, a surveyor has to be on the ground. You know, so there's no worry that you're on community land. That happens on these squeezed areas where the plots are small and there's a big demand. Okay. You know, these ones have to be approved by the by the county government. So, uh, what are you telling now, Kenyans in diaspora, that it's okay to because people are afraid of security mostly because we met up ngambo, alafu kila mtu na juu ni met up ngambo na juu ile nyumba ni amjama met up ngambo usikuota ulali. Okay. Kwa sabu. Your house is the best in that area. Kwa sabu kuna standard za uku, unawana? Mm -hmm. Lakini around you, the people around you are not the same as you. Mm -hmm. They are on what my locals to uko. Mm -hmm. So usiku, how do wanakuja kutembele? Na si wageni, Nicely. wachai? Mm -mm. They, mm. are they are not after, uh, they are not, they are not, they don't have any good intention. Yeah. So what I advise people, know where, live among other people like you. Uh, Ntaweka contact, contact zake. Uh, her all information there, you, sh you should be able to uh, contact her directly. Mimi sina bridge hapa. Direct ndi huyu hapa, na ataeza kukujibu directly. So, uh, there is a big issue with uh, security in, in the country. Mm -hmm. Like for instance, if I want to buy property in Kenya, mm -hmm. I cannot afford uh, maybe where, like, like you see the the, the, the standards here, you see, mm -hmm. I cannot afford something like uh, Runda mm -hmm. because Karen. that's the, the Karen, that's the standard we live in here, you understand? Mm -hmm. So it's a bit in the Hukong Gong Bali Bali. Now, the problem there is there is no electricity. Uh, they, you might have a good house, but no electricity, no internet, no uh, roads, mm -hmm. like infra infra infrastructure is mm -hmm. like poorly, mm -hmm. poorly uh, done, unless um, uh, the rest of your friends, which are not of your uh same standards yeah you plan on something mm -hmm. and that sometimes can, can't work so uh what is your take on that now my take my if you have tasted something good yeah. something bad will never satisfy your thirst so yeah. if you mazuri america nobody can tell you otherwise you, you want the same standard you want yeah. a good car you want security you want peace of mind good education for your children a nice house mm. so i tell people start investing early your your to na Karen, it is very possible. Why? If you start investing pole pole na investment kidogo, they are growing in value. By the time you return in five or ten years, they will be you can sell those properties and buy your, a good home. You see? And buy where other people like you are living, where you think you, you should actually consult you see now. Yeah. So what you do, let me tell you, Jerry. It is possible to live in Karen. It is possible to live in Rwanda. Mamba tu ni kujipanga. So, like me, nikianza uku, hakuna mtu, singe fikiria the life I live now, nige live. So, start early. Start ku invest to vitu tudogo tudogo here in America, in Kenya. So, if you want a house of 10 million, 
by the time una ukianza ku invest na hizi plot za 200 300 by the time unarudi 5 10 years hizo plot utauza pengine mbili tu tatu uende ujenge kwenye other returns are or other people who are like minded you are guaranteed security mm. if you are somewhere in ruru somewhere in dika kiambu those kind of kikui nice places you are guaranteed security kenya ime change wewe unaendaga kenya unaona hivyo People, people, people's mindset have really changed. People know now it's working hard, mm -hmm. and if you work hard, you live a good life. Mm -hmm. So I tell people, don't be worried. Me, I have not had a insecurity problem for a long time, no. and I go to Kenya like so many times in a year. It's the areas you visit. It is <laughs> no, 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 no. Usiyeta kula musho, usiyu na manga kule chini kabisa ati wapi na kuna watu. You are, you are unajimuli kio kijenga ni mbako pale juu mlima. Yeah, be smart. You have to be smart, mm -hmm. even in terms of. Uh, uh, putting investments in Kenya. Mm -hmm. So uh able to uh, how much how much like roughly is uh, like the lands there like approximately how much? It depends with where and mm -hmm. for what. Like if you're looking for land like in Nanyuki, like the plots I sell there are from 120 mm -hmm. to 300,000. That is two or twelve hundred dollars to three thousand dollars. Yeah. This is the land that we will appreciate first. You remember Kitengela picking up so fast because yeah. Kitengela started like that maybe four or five years ago. So, but the other lands, like you come now to this prime Mount Kenya region or maybe around Kisumu, around Mombasa, those are pricier. And the 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 nearer they are to what do you call it to the cities, the more expensive they will be. Mm -hmm. But I tell people, I, I my. Uh, opinion don't buy appreciated land it has already maxed out buy land iko huko chini ju ita grow as you as you plan your 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 exit yeah so, so my question is another another question like for instance i have land in kenya maybe mm -hmm. for instance mm -hmm. and uh it's it's been like 10 years maybe I bought it at 500,000 mm -hmm. i want now to sell it maybe at a million how sure am i that I'm gonna get a buyer when somebody is also looking for a cheaper land. They will go for the 150. <laughs> no, no, no. It doesn't happen like that. If you bought land 500 at yeah. 10 years ago, yeah. right now it can be worth 10 million. What you do is you do a valuation report. Mm. Never sell anything, especially at diaspora. Because sababu yeah. wona kumbuka ili land yangu ya pale Kiserian ni dinunua 300. Yeah. My friend, right now Kiserian, you can't afford. Mm, no, you can't. It's very expensive. Do a variation, and most diasporans get caught in that. Yeah. People know you are there. You don't know the prices on the ground. They ask you whether you want to sell. They tell you twice what you bought. Where will it be? So do a valuation. They will give you how much mm -hmm. your land is worth. Mm -hmm. Then you can actually. There are many people. Kenya, ni watu anongeza kana retingi ne kubwa. There is no land. Yeah. People are know there is land investment is the surest bet. There's always a land buyer. Mm -hmm. Ukisema unauza shamba? Kila mtapata uh, wateja. Wanauza kule loitokto kule ndani ka chini kabisa so, so, ni so, kumei. So so are you advising guys to invest here mostly or there mostly? If you are a Kenyan born in Kenya. Mm. You surely know land in Kenya or has or has been uphill trend. It's not like America where it goes up and down. Mm. I would ask so you you diversify your portfolio invest yeah. in land in Kenya because it doubles over time. Mm -hmm. If you plan to stay here forever like uh, maybe all through your adult life you go there when you retire yeah. try to invest here to balance. Mm -hmm. But if you know you have a plan of going back there invest in Kenya as much as you can. And don't worry about disposing of your 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 properties in Kenya. There are yeah. so many uh, agents, there's so many places that you can sell your land in Kenya. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So uh thank you so much for tuning in and coming. You came all the way. By the way, I like uh, I like your speech. Today she represented Alabama. I did. We had uh, Senator Irungu in the Yeah, Se Senator Irungu and uh William uh, Deputy President William Ruto was was uh today our guest and She was part of the youth representative and she did well. Thank you. People call me women rep, what rep, politics and I've never thought of it. And I always find myself in some place like this and I'm like maybe I have that blood somewhere in my life. Do, do you see yourself like vying any any 
in no, no, 2022 no. coming <laughs> one thing i know yeah. is that one day i'll hold a diplomatic passport whether it will be oh. something a uh, nomination or you something you look like it but i don't i will never be on a ballot let me say never my, my mom tells never me, never is never. a strong word yeah it's a really strong word yeah but yeah. I, I i don't see myself going politics because it's i believe it's it's really dirty game it's for the strong but i would like to represent kenya somewhere absolutely either. absolutely mm. so what what are your last words my last words is you diaspora and he in America. Penye uko, anzia hapo uko. Izo bafu unasugua. Awa oh, mama unaangalia. Awa oh, tuzo unafundisha. Manze, that is where God blesses you. Fanya yo kazi kama ni yako. Imagine that institution you're working, that is your business. Your business. Give it your all. Wacha yo peche kuna lipua. Malipua ya mungu imezidi yo peche. Na utaomoka tu. Yeah. One time. So, uh, mkenya marikani kitaka kukupata ama guys in Kenya. What are your contacts? My name is Anmoy on Facebook, or you go to Bama Diaspora Realty Limited. My company is located at Mountain Mall, Lika Road. Una kumbuka pale roasters, opposite yeah, Garden yeah, City. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes. Yeah, kuna naivas chini Mountain Mall, utatukuta third floor, Suite D6. Wow. My phone number is in Kenya, if you're watching me from Kenya, is 025 zero 25 Wow, so umeandika watu pale, wako tu pale wana. Oh yeah, we are a big company. We are, isn't it Jina Kubwa? Eh. Usi nini nikiwa wako mamba, even if kiria, I should come with a tour in Japan. No. To be a maka na badu, to be a remain humble. So after this, mpenzi mtazamaji, next video I'll tell you how much I was given for this video. Cheers, keep subscribing. God bless you.